Our first set of questions for the new SAT reading come from a fiction passage. So I recommend you try all these questions first, questions one through five. Read the passage, try the questions before you watch these videos. I'm not going to reread the entire passage through every video. Obviously, that would be a lot. What I'm going to do instead is when I go through the questions and the answers, show you what lines support the choice that ends up being the right answer. And uh, I'll leave it to you to read as much as you can, uh, read as much as you need to understand the full context. So let's go ahead and check out number one. Over the course of the passage, the main focus of the narrative shifts from the what to what. Now, this is a question we would do last. I actually recommend you do this one last because it's general. We'll talk more about this when we talk more about strategy, but that's basically the typical SAT strategy. I don't think that's going to change for the new test. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and do this question last, but we're going to do that one. We're going to do this one right now, assuming we've done two to five already. So what is the shift from? Well, the passage starts out uh, where the narrator is remembering his interactions with this woman, Maddie Silver, and walking through the walking through the woods, walking through the uh, like basically walking through their her his property, I suppose, back to the farm and the great memories he has. Basically he likes her a lot and just kind of remembering the great times. But then towards the end there's a shift because towards the end he's wondering if she even likes him. She she basically is worried that she's not returning his affections because she acts in similar ways to uh, other people as she did with him. So if we look at the choices here uh, does this shift from the reservations a character has about a person he has just met to a growing appreciation that character has of the person's worth? He doesn't really have any reservations about the character, so he's not really worried about anything about her or thinks there's anything possibly negative. Nor does it, I mean, the passage does talk about the growing appreciation he has for her, maybe. Maybe not for her worth, but this doesn't capture the real shift, which is towards the end where he worries about whether they actually had anything real between them. Let's look at B, the ambivalence a character feels about his sensitive nature to the character's recognition of the advantages of having profound emotions. No way. The focus of this passage is on their relationship, on their interaction. The intensity of feeling a character has for another person to the character's concern that that intensity is not reciprocated. Yeah. So if we go back to some lines here that will support this, for example, line five, looking for intensity of the feelings. So he had taken to the girl from the first day uh, when he met her. Later, we can see uh, it was during their night walks back to the farm that he felt most intensely the sweetness of this communion. In other words, this interaction. So yeah, and this whole first two paragraphs are about that intensity. But then when we get towards the end, we're looking for the concern that the intensity is not reciprocated. We see that in this final paragraph. So in particular, line 41, um, he wondered how he ever could have thought that his dull talk interested her. And um, her gaiety seemed plain proof of indifference, in other words, towards him. So by the end, he's worried that she doesn't even feel anything for him anyway, despite their interactions earlier. So we like C. Let's just check D. The value a character attaches to the wonders of the natural world, to a rejection of that sort of beauty in favor of human artistry. So they certainly do talk about the wonders and the beauty of the natural world. That's what they share in the first part of the passage. But this part doesn't make any sense. It doesn't mention anything about kind of rejecting, rejecting that in favor of the beauty of human artistry. So we can definitely get rid of D, totally irrelevant. The key here is their interaction. So this one is choice C. This passage overall is ranked a higher complexity passage. So they've split the difficulty, like they have difficulty for questions, and this one was a medium, I think, but they also now rank passages in terms of their difficulty. And this is considered to be one of the more complex passages of the test. And we can see that usually fiction passages, as on the old SAT, sometimes can be pretty tough, especially when they use older type language, older, sen older sentence constructions. And indeed, this passage, I think, comes from 1911. So older style, sometimes harder to understand. But overall, though, this is a pretty standard reading type question. The benefit, one of the benefits of the new test is you only have four choices instead of five, which is nice. But overall, it's a basic general question. And we are going to approach this just like we approach these now. Leave these to the end, do the specific ones first. And then by the time you've done the specifics, you'll be ready to answer this one. So this is a pretty reasonable, I think, typical SAT reading style question.